The waiter, here we come! <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm here with Gift again today and we are taking a drive around um, Joburg. So um, Gift, how are you today? I'm fine my brother, how are you? How are you guys? We're back, it's the third day. Um, spending time with my brother again. I'm so excited that I'm spending time with him, you know, and um, the opportunity to show him around, you know, about my my country, not my country, my province, how to, yes, let's put it like that. So yeah, it's um, the afternoon now, almost going to the evenings. Um, it's like 4 p.m. now here in um, South Africa. Uh, it's the traffic time, guys. That's another thing I can share with you about Joburg. Joburg has a lot of traffic, guys. Trust me, Joburg has got a lot of traffic. Uh, it's not normal. There's no accident. There's no stationary vehicle. There's nothing. It's just a normal traffic because everyone, as I've said, Joburg is a city of gold. So most head offices, most offices are here in Joburg. Most companies, you know, they are in Joburg. So people from all over, they come to Joburg for work, most people, you know. and even accidents they happen a lot because there's lots of learners learner drivers on the road because you know people they they buy licenses nowadays <laughs> sorry to say that but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm saying the truth yeah people buy driver's licenses because they can afford to buy a car mm. they can afford to own a car so this is normal traffic as i'm telling you guys so you need to know the times of traveling in Joburg when you are around you know now we are in the area called Nazrek there's a, a well-known stadium mm. football stadium it called um soccer city fnp stadium you said it hosts a lot of um, vip uh, celebrities so who, yes. are, who have been here oh okay so Penna boy Burner Boy! Burner Boy and Beyonce and Jay-Z uh, as they came to South Africa. I think it was last year if I'm not mistaken or before COVID. Yeah, there's a lot of shows that are being hosted uh, in that stadium. Even our artist, Casper Jovest, I'm sure you guys know him. Mm -hmm. He hosted this one man show as well there. So it appears um, South Africans love some Nigerian musicians like Burner Boy, Davido. So are they very popular people here in South Africa? My brother must say, trust me, they love Banner Boy. They love Banner Boy in South Africa. That one I am 100% sure. And I'm also one of them. <laughs> I love Banner Boy. I love his music. When they say, Everybody go to breakfast. <laughs> They're not talking about a breakfast, guys. Correct me. I was told it's not a breakfast to eat. No. No, Shayo. It's not a Shayo to eat. You see, this is the most so So I can tell you some of the meanings of the things he said. When when you say Shayo in Nigeria, okay. it means alcohol. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, and yes. when he talked about breakfast, it means like he had a heartbreak. That okay. the girlfriend left him. Yes. And so he's had broken. So yes. all that he needs to get better now is to smoke weed and yes. drink alcohol. Yes. So that's yes. what the meaning is. So I love the song, guys. I, I love to sing. <laughs> I don't know if I have a voice. Yeah. Sing, let's hear you. Yeah, yeah. yeah? Don't judge me, guys. No, uh, no judging. We don't cast. Last, last. Now everybody's got your breakfast. I need to go and shine. What is I need to go? Please tell me, my brother. So he go miss weed. Oh, and the ball. He go, so he needs he go. He go means weed. That's the part of my life. That's why the reason why I play this one, guys, <laughs> is the bow. The way they talk. I want to learn that because I like it when Nigerians speak. Um, my Nigerian brother speak that language of the bow, the bow, you know. But I don't get it. But I just love that, you know. So this is the reason again why I love the song, you know. Um, that I love Pena Boy and they talk about it boom. So I'd love to, to learn that language. What is the language that's speaking? So it's Pidgin English in Nigeria, but Shayo is a Yoruba word for getting drunk and getting high. Yes. Yeah, so but just um, a disclaimer. Okay. I don't advise anybody to smoke Igbo or to get high. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes, so yes. I don't drink alcohol, I don't smoke. I'm not judging, but um, do what you think is right yes. and um, 
celebrate responsibly um ease your pains maybe you can pray to god yes and um talk to your friends but Bona Boy is, is um one of the very important artists nigerians have right now we love him we love the video we love whiskey yes we love yes. all of them yes yes because yes. they are helping us to promote the nigerian culture the nigerian language and i'm happy to hear my friend and brother gift here in south africa saying how well he loves burner boy he loves nigerian music and please nigerians let's love south africans let's love other africans and let's keep it real one love one love one love everybody we are heading to soweto now and um would we'll see our Soweto baby. Yes, 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 guys. This is Soweto now. So we'll show you the most, most known popular street um, in Soweto. The street called Villagazi Street. Villagazi. You know, Villagazi. Mm. They won't show it on TV, mm. but we do have squatter camp in the United States as well. As uh, you will see here, this is where mm. um, people are staying as well, um, waiting on the government to help them. It's not a good area to for, for a human being. But unfortunately, as I've said, that the government, this is what they do. They don't take care of their own, you know, and their own are the ones that are voting um, for them. Yeah. We are in Soweto now in Villagazi Street. We will show you um, the Mandela House, our Tata Mandela. Tata means father. That's a Kosa name, Tata. So our late Tata Mandela's house, we will show you guys and we will show you yeah, Soweto a bit. So I hope you guys will, you are ready for that. Yes, 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 yes. Soweto, here we come. Soweto, here we come. This is a well-known street where our hero, um, Tata Mandela, that the Madiba was uh, staying. So, yeah. Madiba Madela. So, there's the house, it's still open. Welcome to Soweto. Welcome to Soweto. Welcome to my name is Jack. I live in a shack. I might be back for the office. Expect Soweto. Welcome to Soweto. Guys, I've just received a wonderful welcome to Soweto. This is Mandela House, and these guys are wonderful guys. I've been able to see what it looks like inside here. The story about um, Mandiba Mandela is very rich. It's something that is very ingrained in African culture, African story, African history. And there's no way we talk about Africa without talking about Nelson Mandela. And I decided that it was not possible for me to visit South Africa and not come and see the historical sites that represent um, a great leader that Africa was blessed to have. Please and please, Let's unite Africa. South Africans, Nigerians, Kenyans, Malawians, Cameroonians, Algerians, Egyptians. We are one Africa and we have to make Africa great. We have to make Africa united. Coming here has brought a lot of emotions for me and I'm happy to have had the opportunity to visit the Mandela House. And I encourage you to visit Mandela House whenever you have the opportunity of visiting South Africa. They closed by five, um, by 4.45 p.m. So I was just very lucky to come at the very nick of time. And now they have closed, but I had a very wonderful time here. So guys, I'm here in Soweto, and I met someone who said he knows a bit of the history and the story, and I want him to introduce himself and tell us what he knows. So who are you, bro? Okay, the name is Martin. Martin. But around here, they call me Luther King Jr. Luther King Jr.? Yes, You're you a freedom know. fighter? Exactly, Okay, my bro, boss, my man. Know. All right, my man. <laughs> okay. And oh, we can walk up while I tell you the story, my bro. Okay. So now, like I said, that the name, Villagas. Villagas. Villa, yes, the name of the street here. So Villagas, was the first black man to get a degree and get a, a PhD at the best university, which was now the first black man okay. to also translate the dictionary from English to Zulu. Okay. So the street was named after him. Vilakazi. Vilakazi. So in our culture, Vilakazi means the one who's laziest. Okay. But it's also a surname. Okay. So why we are standing here, because this is where we are starting. These are the two poles. The two poles. Yeah. The two poles, if you come closer, my bro, mm. so that you can understand more about the two poles. Mm. If you know, in the African culture, the same goes in Kunzi, Azimbili, Azibusi, Asbayani, Asisotwa. Meaning, 
two bulls don't rule in the same crawl. Mm. So now this artwork over here is this is symbolistic of two forceful leaders who chose two different routes to bring about freedom during the struggle against apartheid. Mm. Ironically, they share the same crawl, mm. which is Villarazi Street. Mm. And now these two men. Uh, which is Tutu and Nelson Mandela were recognized in the greatest possible way by winning Nobel Peace Prize 10 years apart. Mm. So if you go all around the world, there's only one street where you find two Nobel Prize winners in one street. You and see, Villa Gazi. Villa Gazi. So it's 10 years apart. So now why 10 years apart? Tutu was in 84. He got his in 84, Mandela in 94. Mm. That's why it was 10 years. Mm. But if you remember correctly, Desmond Tutu got here in 1975, by then Mandela was in prison. Mm. So the guy that was advocating when he was out there, it was Tutu. Mm. And of course Mama Win. Mm. On the same street, because also the 1976 uprising where a boy was shot and you see that picture of a man carrying a boy and the sister running on the side. Mm. That also happened in the same street. Mm. So that's why you see this as a Nobel laureate artwork because two bulls don't live in there, they don't rule in the same Central. crowd. You know why? They would cut each other out. Yeah. But only the street where you find two bulls in one street. Mm. That's why we have all of this. This is so deep, man. It's very it's, deep. It's so deep, man. This one is a very important part of the way. The reason being, the guy here called Santo which is Senzo's art. Mm. He studied in Amsterdam. He came back to Soweto. So every popular spot in Soweto is got these eyes. Mm. So this is now sort of like uh, a painting of Soweto, whereby when you shoot a picture here, they definitely know you were in Soweto. No doubt about it. Mm. Especially if they see Shofa, ah, they know you were in Pilakasi Street. South Africa obviously has a very rich vibe, a very rich culture. And I'm happy to have the opportunity to be doing all of this with my South African friends, my South African brothers. And words cannot express how grateful I am for this opportunity. And my message would remain unity, African unity, African brotherhood, African oneness, African togetherness. And it is not just my voice, it is your voice. It is our voice. And if we continue to promote this voice, Africa will become much, much greater than even what we anticipated to be in our generation. I'm not fighting for my generation alone. I'm fighting for my children's generation and the generation yet unborn. Great Africa, peace, and Amanda. Yes. Amanda. Away to. Amanda. Away to. Amanda. Away to. Amanda. Away to. Okay, where we are right now is Desmond Tutu's house. Okay. The second uh, Nobel Peace Prize. Actually, he's the first because he got it first. Okay. In 84, then Mandela in 94. Okay. So, as you know, uh, because of uh, they were fixing the wall of Desmond Tutu's house, there was a sign here mm. that reads, if I can remember correctly with my memory, the sign reads, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, world-renowned champion of human rights, was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1984 for his decades of non-violent struggle for racial equality. Mm. In 1995, he was appointed by President Mandela to chair the TRC. That is the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Mm. And now this continues to be their Jobek residence. And whenever they were in Soweto, this is where they lived. And they also celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary in the same house. Mm. So now many people think because Desmond was a short father, this is, was his escape door, mm. but it was not. Mm. This is where they brought fire coal and uh, coal and wood for the fireplace. Mm. So like I said that, People don't realize, don't even know that this side, it is nicknamed Beverly Hills. Okay. Reason being, if you walk to the street there, you can see from that side that those houses, uh, most of them are you know, one bedroom houses, okay. like Mandela's house. Mm. So when Mandela came out of prison, he lived 11 days there mm. and he moved to this side, which is the Beverly Hills of Soweto. Mm. But his house is on the bottom of the hill. That's where he left Mama Winnie and the house was now known as Mama Winnie's house. Mm. After he returned from prison, because of not having privacy, people fool there wanting a, 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 a glimpse of Mandela, then he moved to this side. Mm. So this side, back in the days when you had money, you couldn't go to the suburbs. 
This is where you live. Mm. Okay, so um, you yes, finished taking friend. me around. Yes, yes and my friend. My stomach is feeling okay, it's hungry. Time to... It's time to eat. Yes. So where's the best place to eat, man? Okay, let me tell you. Uh -huh. If you want the best African food, uh -huh. which is your mukhodu, your mushu, everything, Sakumzi is the place to go. Sakumzi. Yes, Sakumzi means building a home. Building a home. Yes. Okay. Saka umuzi. Saka umuzi. Yes. So now also the president of this country, when he's here in Vilagazi, he also come and eat here at Sakumsi. Sakumsi. Yeah. Even the minister of police and the friends when they want to eat in Vilagazi, this is where they eat, which is Sakumsi. So where you get the authentic Soweto experience. The authentic Soweto experience. Definitely. So you are recommending that I should eat here and I will have a wonderful experience. You, you won't forget, even the heart will be smiling. Are you, you serious? I'm telling you, you will be smiling inside out, my bros. Okay. Definitely. All right, thanks for that advice. So um, guys, I've been advised to come and eat here at Sakumsi. So I'm going to go in, myself and Gifts, we are going to try it out and we'll see whether the food is really as good as they are saying it is. So guys, um, let's, um, let's go to Sakumsi. Hello. Hi, hello guys. Oh, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. So uh, this is Sakumzi. Sakumzi yes. Okay. Sakumzi basically is like building a home. It's building so, a home. Yes, you have. So I was told that you have like the best food in yes. Soweto. Is that true? <laughs> it is true, yes. So you are recommending that I follow you and you give me the best of Soweto. Yes. So what's your name? It's Kani. Kani. What does that mean? It's making these lights. Lights? Yes. You are very beautiful, huh? Thank you. So <laughs> let's follow Kanye. Here we are in we front are. of the food. So let Kanye tell us what you have. So we have we cater for the traditional cuisine at the buffet, where you get to taste a bit of everything that's traditional. I have the inside, the tribe, and then I have the beef sausages, and then I have the beef stew, and then I have the grilled chicken, and then this is the chicken, the hot body chicken that we chase and then we slaughter. You chase them? Yes. We okay. Chase them. <laughs> Okay. And then here I have my starch as well. I have my sour sukam. It's stuffed with the sour. Okay. Yes. Dini. And then dini. Yes. Okay. And then I have my rice. Uh huh. I have some mixed with corn. Okay. And then I have my tomato gravy. And then that's my steamed grape, the dumplings. Wow. Yes. It looks very exciting. So guys, we are going to order for something that is the in-house special, and we'll show you what we ordered eat the food and tell you whether the food is superb or maybe Kanye was just telling us something that is not true. Hey Gift. Hi my brother. How's, how's it, it going man? How's it? How's it? My brother. We here my brother. So uh, how's um, Soweto treating you so far? My man, you know I love Soweto. Trust me, I'm from Joburg, I'm from Johannesburg but um, I barely come to Soweto. It's just because I'm busy working but I really appreciate that you you brought me here. So you brought me here. <laughs> I know I brought you here, but now uh, you are the reason why we I'm here. Okay. Know? And guess what? It's going to be the first time eating, and it's my first time entering this place. Okay. You know? Imagine I've, I was born here, but <laughs> a very popular restaurant where they cook nice food. That's why people say so. We're gonna taste and see for ourselves how does this food taste. So, but uh, remember to tell them to subscribe, eh? Please, guys. Please, guys. Please, that's the most important thing out of everything we are showing you, out of whatever that you are seeing, guys. Please, please, I beg you, I beg you, subscribe. Subscribe and like. like. Like in Nigeria, eh? I beg, I beg you. Go and subscribe, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe. You will make me happy. I will take care of you when you come to South Africa. Only if you subscribe in this video. Wow. 100%. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So please subscribe, like, and share, everybody. Give yes. say so. Please share with your family, it. share with everyone this video, share it with everyone, everyone who's got a, a, a access to YouTube, please share this video with them, there will gonna be a link, you just share the link on WhatsApp, on your statuses to show them how Soweto looks guys and the food and the things that are here in Soweto. We were waiting outside, we didn't realize that it's a buffet, we are supposed to serve ourselves. Now we are here, myself and gifts. We are trying to serve ourselves, so we pick up our plates and uh, we need to know we can take anything we want or how does it work? Anything. Anything we want. Okay. 
So, my brother, I would really love you to start here. This is the dumbling, man. This is what? Dumbling. Dumbling. We call it it tombolo. In tombolo. 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 <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I believe I trust Kanye for now. I trust Kanye for now until I'm done eating this food. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. Trust my brother. Because Kanye said it's wonderful, but you know they say the taste of the pudding is in the eating. Uh -huh. It is after we have finished eating, we can say she's telling us the truth. So let's go and find let's out. Go oh, let's go dig in. Let's go dig in. Let's go dig in. Okay. So um, Bismillah. I'll start with the assorted. The one you call. Umkodu. Um, umkodu. Umkodu. Umkodu, guys. Umkodu. Mmm. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Now, let me try the beef. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, okay. I have not eaten anything. I've only just given a taste of everything. And my honest opinion, my honest assessment, the food here is perfect. It is wonderful. I don't think I have to waste my time anymore videoing all of this. I'll leave you all at this point while I enjoy the rest of my food. Let's eat, my brother. So we have to eat, guys. Please, please. please. We need to eat, guys. We need to eat, guys. We love you guys, but we need to eat. This is where we bring this um, particular episode to an end. Here in Soweto, we have had the opportunity of um, checking out Mandela's house. We have checked out um, Desmond Tutu's house. My very good friend here, Dimati Luther King Jr. of Soweto has given me a little tour, a brief history of all of the beautiful things we have here in Soweto. And like I've been saying, the intention of all of this is to curate our African stories, to bring African stories to the world, and for us to know that we are one brothers as far as Africa is concerned. So if you ever, yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, my brother. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's man. really in Soweto, one love, like one Orlando love, West. Love, Soweto. Thanks, 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 thanks. Orlando West. Yes, yes, yes. So um, the love is a lot. The love is much. I'm happy to have been here. And I I can't put all of my excitement, excitement in words. All I'll just say is uh, thank you, South Africa, for having me, for giving me the opportunity to share your story and for giving me the um, opportunity to do all of this. And I'll, I'll be back to South Africa by God's grace. And I'm sure you even show me much more welcome than you showed me this time. So peace out this point at this point in time. See you in the very next video. And remember to subscribe to the channel. Okay, yeah, this Soweto. is Soweto. That's why we want to crown him with the Soweto <laughs> so that you could see that he was really in Soweto. Yeah, so yes. uh, I was in Soweto. Yes. And um, I would say remember to subscribe to the channel, share this video, like hit on the notification and that gives me the motivation to keep going to different places talking to new people curating experiences and sharing with the rest of the world that's what we do in this channel and i'm happy to always do it and just do it to promote african voices so peace out so wait oh.